heal peptic ulcer in 10 days with vitamin U. In the late 1940s, Dr. Garnet Cheney, a professor of medicine at Stanford University School of Medicine, discovered the amazing ability of fresh cabbage juice to rapidly heal a peptic ulcer, and he attributed its powers to a substance he called vitamin U. In the seven decades since then, modern research has identified powerful antioxidant, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory phytonutrients in cabbage juice, helping to confirm its value as an effective natural treatment for ulcers. To learn more about the healing powers of vitamin U in fresh cabbage juice and to put it to work for you, keep reading. Cabbage juice outperforms standard medical peptic ulcer treatments by leaps and bounds. Published in January of 1949, the original study was titled Rapid Healing of Peptic Ulcers in Patients Receiving Fresh Cabbage Juice. Dr. Cheney reported that 13 patients with peptic ulcers who were given a liter of cabbage juice a day experienced rapid relief of their painful symptoms without any other treatment. Even more significantly, their ulcer craters healed completely within 7 to 10 days, a vast improvement over the 37 to 42 days of conventional ulcer treatment. Surprisingly, the study received little attention from the medical community. Or maybe it's not so surprising, given conventional medicine's long-standing reluctance to recognize natural therapies. In a second study, published in California Medicine in October of 1952, Dr. Cheney reported that 100 patients with uncomplicated peptic ulcers were treated successfully and rapidly with raw cabbage juice. As with the first study, ulcer crater healing time was shorter than in cases in which standard diet and drug therapies were used. In 1956, Dr. Cheney published a third study with identical results. Today, fortunately, a growing number of professionals in both conventional and holistic medicine recognize the value of cabbage juice as a treatment for ulcers. Meanwhile, research is helping scientists understand the nuts and bolts of cabbage's therapeutic powers. Cabbage's constituents are custom designed to soothe and heal the stomach. According to researchers, a pair of essential amino acids, glutamine and methionine are key to the healing powers of cabbage. Dr. Cheney's mysterious vitamin U, the U stands for ulcer, is generally considered to be methionine s methyl sulfonium, or MMS. Also known as s methyl methionine, MMS stimulates the formation of mucus and works as a powerful antioxidant. Studies have shown that MMS supports normal healing in the stomach after exposure to NSAIDs. Other constituents may play a part as well. The amino acid L-glutamine is believed to be superior to commercial medications as an antacid, while a compound called gefarnate has been shown to have a protective effect on stomach lining. Dr. James Hefley, Ph.D., past president and editor-in-chief of the Journal of Applied Nutrition, theorized that cabbage's magic ingredient could be a lantoin. A compound also found in comfrey root, alandoin has long been used in folk medicine for stomach ailments. Dr. Hefley also favored the teamwork concept, wherein several antioxidants in a food enhance each other's benefits synergistically to explain cabbage's stomach soothing properties. Cabbage juice helps to control the H. pylori bacteria that causes ulcers. Significantly, cabbage is also rich in glucosinolates which convert to anti-inflammatory isothiocyanates. These compounds can help to suppress H. pylori bacteria now acknowledged by doctors as a primary cause of most ulcers. The other is NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin, naproxen and ibuprofen. H. pylori is an extremely common bacteria that infects up to 40% of the population. Often, it is asymptomatic and causes no problems but in some individuals it penetrates the stomach lining and causes peptic ulcers. Common ulcer symptoms can include burning stomach pain, heartburn, bloating, belching and nausea. More severe symptoms which can indicate serious and even life-threatening ulcer complications are vomiting, or vomiting blood, faintness, and black, teary stools. Seek medical care immediately if you experience these. Note, it is very possible to have an ulcer and not know it. Mayo Clinic reports that close to 75% of people with peptic ulcers don't have symptoms. How should I take cabbage juice for an ulcer? Naturally, you should first see a knowledgeable integrative physician for diagnosis and treatment if you suspect you have an ulcer and to determine if fresh cabbage juice is right for you. As for using cabbage juice it couldn't be much simpler. Most natural health experts advise taking the fresh juice of one half to one whole head of raw cabbage several times a day before meals. 
Many also recommend cabbage juice to treat IBS, gastritis and acid reflux. If the taste of cabbage juice is unpalatable, you can add flavor and color with carrots, celery and broccoli. For those who find the taste of the juice to be a deal breaker, cabbage supplements are available in tablet form. In addition to containing vitamin U complex in the form of DL-methionine methyl sulfonium chloride, some supplements may also contain other ingredients such as vitamin A and gamma or isinol from rice bran oil to potentiate the antioxidant effects. To sum up, cabbage juice normalizes gastric and intestinal functioning, detoxifies the stomach, kills pathogens, causes rapid relief of ulcer pain and promotes healing in record time, quite a resume for the juice of a humble vegetable. Although the use of this natural remedy dates back to the time of the Truman Presidency and probably even further cabbage juice can bring up to the minute relief. How to reduce ringing in your ears with 7 natural remedies. Dinitis, or ringing in the ears, is a bothersome symptom that can be caused by the accumulation of wax, infections or wounds in the ears. It's a faint sound that occurs in one or both ears, almost always accompanied by headaches difficulty hearing or concentration problems. This can happen for a long period of time, but it can also happen at intervals, generating minimal problems. While it doesn't tend to be a serious problem and it's normal to experience this occasionally, it's almost always advisable to treat it to avoid complications. Fortunately, there are 100% natural solutions that help to speed up relief. Discover them. 1. Sesame seed oil. Sesame seed oil has anti-inflammatory properties that help to calm the irritation of the ears and thus reduce the ringing. Applying it directly unblocks the ear canals and facilitates the removal of excess wax. How to use it? First, warm a small amount of sesame seed oil and apply 5 drops to each ear canal. Check the temperature before using it because it shouldn't be too hot. Tilt your head so that the product reaches the inner part of your ear and stay in this posture for 2 or 3 minutes. Then, remove the remains with a clean tissue. 2. Apple Cider Vinegar The organic acids found in apple cider vinegar are useful for relieving the infections that cause hearing problems and ringing in the ears. This natural alkaline counteracts the attacks of viruses and bacteria, and helps to clean ears blocked by wax. How to use it? Dilute a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of tepid water and drink it on an empty stomach. Mix the product with water in equal parts and apply 3 to 5 drops in the affected air. 3. Coconut Oil Widely known for its high levels of antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory agents, coconut oil is an alternative remedy for relieving tinnitus and ear infections. It alters the environment of the viruses and bacteria and thus prevents them from proliferating in the ear canals. How to use it? Warm a small amount of organic coconut oil and apply 3 to 5 drops in the affected air. Tilt your head so that it reaches the inner part. After 3 minutes, remove the remains of wax with a moist tissue. 4. Hydrogen Peroxide The antimicrobial properties of hydrogen peroxide can help to treat ringing in the ears when it's caused by an infection or the excessive production of wax. Its components calm the irritation of the affected ear and re-establish the circulation in the area to promote relief. How to use it? Apply 3 or 4 drops in the affected ear and leave it to act for 5 minutes before draining it. Repeat this every 6 hours. 5. Olive Oil Due to its antioxidants and essential fatty acids, this vegetable oil is a natural solution against the problems that affect your health. While consuming it strengthens the immune system, using it directly calms inflammation and tinnitus. How to use it? Heat a little extra virgin olive oil. When it is warm, but not too hot. Apply 3 drops to the affected ear. Leave it to act for 3 minutes with your head tilted, then drain it. 6. Pineapple Eating several portions of pineapple a day can reduce the bothersome episodes of tinnitus and ear infections. This is due to an enzyme called bromelain, which improves blood circulation to fight the inflammation and prevent attacks from viruses and bacteria. How to use it? Eat up to 3 slices of pineapple a day when this symptoms troubles you. 7. Grapefruit Low in calories and rich in antioxidants and natural fibers, grapefruit is another dietary complement that can speed up recovery from problems that affect the ears. Its natural juice is anti-inflammatory and helps to improve blood flow to control infections and ailments. How to use it Drink 2 or 3 glasses of grapefruit juice if you suffer from ringing in your ears. 
If this symptom is bothering you, try one of those remedies and take advantage of their properties. If it becomes persistent, however, consult a doctor to find out whether it's due to an injury or a more serious infection.